can next be seen as Thomas Brandt in Paper Angels, your yeah. first lead role in a film. How much has this project meant to you? Yeah, um, it was really cool. Um, I've, uh, I've, I was, it, was, it was kind of a project that was really close to my heart when I first uh, was kind of like reading the script and all that. Um, and then uh, when I actually stepped into the shoes of Thomas Brandt um, in the first day of filming, it was just kind of like such a surreal moment. It was like, oh my goodness, am I actually here? And uh, yeah, working you know with David Winning, our director, he was absolutely amazing and alongside with Matthew Settle and Josie Bissett um, with our cast. It was it was just every day was such such a blessing and it was it was so cool. Yeah. I know I read that um, something that really resonated with you was the themes of faith. So is that something you look for in a role or it's just you know something that makes it all the more special when it does come out? For sure, for sure. Um, you know, you kind of uh, you know when, when scripts come down, you know, sometimes it's it's not necessarily, you know, the nice kind of wholesome movie. And you know when that comes comes along I, I'm I, you know I'm so honored and, and can't wait to you know you know to step in those shoes of whoever it is such as you know Thomas Brandt in uh, Paper Angels. So congrats on the season three new role for Defiant. Thank you. And what are you hoping to see from your character Christy? I am hoping to see how her relationship develops with her mom and to see how Daytac ends up defending Christy or if he even does. <laughs> What's your favorite part about filming this series? Working with such incredible actors like Graham Greene plays my dad and Linda Hamilton plays my mom and that is honestly like a dream. I can't, I'm so lucky every day to be on that set. Who doesn't want them as you know their on screen, on -screen parents? Yeah. yeah exactly they have so much advice to share and I feel like I'm learning so much every day. So what brings you to today's VIF festivity? So um, just to attend the event, I'm doing a show called Unreal and I got an invitation and here I am. It's really exciting and it's been a lot of fun so far. Can you share any details about your character? Sure, yeah. So the show is uh, based off uh, The Bachelor, like the reality show The Bachelor. It's not a reality show. It's a dark comedy about the behind the scenes and the makings of a show like that. And I play the first AD of the show. On a film shoot and commercials, there's the first AD, the first assistant director, and that is my part. I play one of the crew members on the reality TV show. Uh, I'm engaged to one of the main characters. I'm his fiance, and it kind of talks about the tension that goes on in the relationships on a TV show and all the strains that go on behind the scenes and on camera. And I heard that this show isn't all scripted, so you do do some improv on the improv on the show. How's that? Been? Yeah, they let us improv a lot. It's got a very real undertone. Um, it's not a very acty show. Um, show to find love. Oh, you're one of the contestants. I'm one of the contestants on, on uh, Everlasting is the name of the show within a show within a show. It must have been kind of fun, you know, re reality TV that's not really reality. Um, the sort of meta prism that is unreal is going to unfold and unleash uh, in an extraordinary and beautiful way. And it's, um, it's a really exciting show. It's very dark and beautiful and painful and funny and um, it's extraordinary and I, I feel um, very grateful to be a part of it. You will be in the upcoming Disney Channel original movie Descendants. Can you share, you know I know it's kind of kept a secret but what can you share about it and your character? Um, well I play the character of Chad Charming, um, the son of Prince Charming. Um, I guess some things I could tell you about him, he's uh, He's charming, but definitely not smart, not intelligent at all. Um, so I don't know. The uh, the movie was a lot of fun to make. I guess I'll talk about making the movie. That, yeah, that's, that's the better that's what part. We want to know such yeah. a young and talented cast. A lot of them being local yeah. actors. How much fun was it? You know, behind the scenes and offset. It was it was tons of fun. I mean, uh, I got to make lots of good friends, friends that I'm still in touch with uh, today. Um, Zachary Gibson is, is one of the guys that I really clicked with and uh, a lot of the times we would, you know, after we would rap we would have little dance parties in the in the trailer and stuff and it was just a lot of fun. I had never danced before that and uh, they taught me how to dance and it's really hard so I have a new respect for dancers and working with Kenny Ortega was just, just amazing. I mean, uh, I don't know, I, I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't take enough away from that man, um, you know.
or learn enough from it. So yeah. It's uh, great to hear. Do you have you know any other upcoming projects you'd like to share with us? Uh, yeah, I, I, I've sh I've been busy this year, I guess uh, a little bit. I've just been starting out, so uh, I've worked on Tomorrowland, um, uh, a movie called Monster Trucks, um, Descendants, and uh, I'm working on a, a, a TV movie called uh, If There Be Thorns right now. Well, it's part of the Flowers in the Attic. Colin Ganger book yeah, series. Yeah, yep. DC yeah, Andrews. How do you think dedicated fans will like? What can they expect from the film? For sure, and, and it's a twisted family. <laughs> to say the least, sir. Yes. Yeah. To say the least. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler, you've been, you worked on School of Fish. Can I did. you tell us a bit about the series and your character? Uh, absolutely. Uh, my character's name was Blake. It's about uh, a group of friends, 20 something year olds, that are, you know, some are starting to find their way in life while others are still searching for what really fulfills them. Uh, a couple get lost along the way, my character included, and it's, you know, trials and tribulations of 20-something year olds just trying to find their way in the world. And on our other interview with you, there, there's a comment on there that has a decent 10 plus likes that says good looking guy. What's your response to that? That I'm a good looking guy? Yeah. Really? My hair must have been good that day, I guess. I think you took off your cap and you like, you did something <laughs> with your hair. I was actually gonna wear a cap here today. My hair's too long. Um, I, that's very flattering. I'm glad. I'm glad some people out there think I'm, a, I'm an attractive person. That's good. Blake, congrats on the Leo Award for the Gordy House or Mr. Hockey. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to be part of that project. Absolutely. Definitely late. We were hoping to catch you on the red carpet at the Leo Awards, but didn't get the chance. So here we are now. Yeah, it was a whirlwind, I tell you what. I mean, I had my mom and dad who were wanting to fly up, and I said, I'm sure they'll tell me if I'm going to win. I mean, I think every award show makes it look like a surprise, but I'm sure they give you some hint whether or not you're in the running. And I'm sitting there, and they call my name up, and I went, oh, man, I should have should have given myself more credit. But uh, it, was, it was an incredible honor to be awarded. And, um, I mean, the story was so close to my personal family journey. My dad's in hockey. My brothers both play. And, uh, you know, I... I grew up watching those guys, you know, and uh, it was pretty cool to be a part of that iconic, you know, moment in history. It was in the 70s before I was born, but uh, I, uh, I really enjoyed my time on the show. And, yeah, so I guess you're a hockey fan. Who are you rooting for? Who's your team? Uh, I, by, I by default have to root for the Arizona Coyotes. My father is an associate coach down there, but uh, being born in British Columbia, I've always had a soft spot for the Vancouver Canucks, so I get to uh, I get to wave two different banners. So we're excited to see you in a and The Return. What can you share about your character? Uh, my character is um, kind of a new and challenging, exciting thing, thing for me because um, I guess you've only seen me as Alice, which is very, you know, it's very different to, to um, Lena, who I play right now. Um, but I'm so excited for people to see it. I can't give too much away because it will give away the whole plot. The whole mystery, yeah. Yeah, it's a big mystery. It has so much suspense and it's such an exciting project. I'm really happy to be a part of it, yeah. And we mentioned this on Twitter, but congratulations. We can't wait to see you as Ben Lowry in a &E's The Return. Thank you very much. <laughs> how, has, how has this character been different from the ones you filmed in the past? Sorry? How has this character been different from the ones you've portrayed in the past? Um, this guy's a little darker. I, I usually get the nice guy, who, who, or I'll be reading for it anyway, the nice guy like picks up the books in the hallway. Um, so, so this was a nice branch from that. He, he's, a, he's a bit more, uh, he's got a little weight to him and a darkness that is fun to step into. You had a musical project, Stella. You've been posting teaser photos on Instagram. Can you give us any updates? It's getting close. It's so freaking close. Um, I almost have it. It's been going really well. I've really uh, put my foot to the floor for the last few months, so it's really coming together, and I, I think it's going to be something. I, I, I'll be I'll be proud of it. I think so. Well, hopefully, uh, people like it. Hopefully, as well. we'll be hearing a release sometime soon. Hopefully, yeah. I mean. Uh, I can take it to a proper studio over the next little while and then probably 2015.
filmed the Western Flick Forsaken opposite Donald and Keeper Sutherland. How was that experience? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, it was really cool. I actually got to film it in my hometown, Calgary, and uh, bringing a set of that size and a movie of that caliber to the industry there is so beneficial to Alberta, Alberta film. And uh, it was great to be able to work at home on a film of such a large scale with such amazing actors. Do you have any other upcoming projects you'd like to share? Yeah, um, right now uh, we're going to be doing um, possibly, I shot a pilot for um, The Guardian Code. Um, and so we're waiting to hear back whether that uh, we get a full season on that. So uh, we're kind of just standing by uh, for now. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. Uh, that'll start in December. Um, so that'd be a TV series. Uh, and and uh, so I'm really excited about that as well. And you were born and raised in Vancouver. When you're not here, what do you miss most about the city? To be honest, I miss the rain a lot. Uh, in Toronto during the winter, we get a whole lot of that. But, you know, it's the rain, it's the fresh air, and our mountains. You don't realize how much you actually appreciate them until you've left Vancouver. <laughs> you miss them when you're gone, right? I do. I really do. And I have a dog over here, so I miss him a lot and my family. Vancouver, which is, uh, by the way, Canada, is, I want to be a Canadian, so if there's any Canadian out there that would like to marry me so that I can gain my Canadian citizenship, I would appreciate that thoroughly. This country is big and awesome and vast and wonderful. And where, are you, where are you from? I'm United States of America. We're, we're an angry people there. <laughs> you know. Definitely loving it here then. Right? I'm loving it, yeah. Everybody is um, kind of chill. Afraid of their own pockets, if that makes sense. That was a little bit a leap forward in the metaphors. I know you filmed once the Wonderland here, and the Return is filmed here as well. So, what's your favorite part about the city? I love being back here. I never thought I'd be back here so quick. I, when I left last time, I was like, oh no. But I get to experience Vancouver in the summer, which I haven't experienced before. It's like a totally different place. It's like a lot yeah. more beautiful than what it is now. Getting into fall and winter. Yeah, I know. It's getting cold now. I'm getting worried. <laughs> it's so cold. You want to buy those jackets and mittens and all yeah, that? Yeah, I know. Get the beanies out. Oh, and the, the rain boots. You call them chooks, right? I call yeah. them beanies. <laughs> Beanies oh, you do? Okay. Okay. I say beanies and people are like, what are you saying? You're like, uh, tuk, uh, tuk? I don't know. And you also have a musical project, Solo. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, I've, um, I've got an EP out. I'm still writing music. I was writing another EP or some things to go towards my next album maybe before I left to come here. But um, I'm constantly writing and I can't wait to release some more stuff.